Hey, this is a tutorial, a quick tutorial. I'm just reminding you about uh, functions in InDesign and setting up a magazine and kind of sticking to the rules to create a co kind of coherent magazine. Uh, we're going to go through around about 11 things, 11 reminders. Uh, if you need more in depth, then look at uh, the other InDesign tutorials that, that I have provided. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is look at pages and adding new pages. Again, like I said, this is only a quick reminder. So you go to your pages section. If you haven't got this, then you need to select uh, typography from the advanced sec section. Uh, go to pages and just drag uh, and we'll want a double page. Okay, so you need to make sure they have the double, double page section. Uh, selected and you can just drag. So we've got the front cover which we're not going to deal with today and we've got the two facing pages and another two facing pages. And these are the two facing pages we're going to be working with today. Um, and as you can see it's a three column grid at the moment. We haven't got a grid on this one but we've got a three column grid system working and these purple ones are guides only so they don't actually automatically fit. So as you can see if I put that text, it doesn't automatically go to that grid. So it's only used as a guide. To get those guides up, you go to layout, you go to margins and columns, and you can select how many columns you want. So remember, it's good for a magazine to have some sort of grid system going and whatever you decide on that grid. Uh, you could make it so it's a five column or a six column grid, but you're only using three or four of those columns but as long as you're using some sort of grid. I'm going to stick to this three column grid system, so I'm quite happy with that. And you'll need to enable that on, on, some, on your pages. As you can see, I've got three columns here with my dummy text, and I've got a gap here. Um, what I can do is change the columns sizes, but as you can see, I've actually got a three column uh, grid system happening. Uh, luckily, that's what I want. But say you only want them to be a two column uh, section, you would have to uh, change, you'd have to change that. So you can change that by going to, going to uh, fill your text. So you go to your T, go to the second section, and you can see that I can change the amount of columns I've got within that. So I've fitted it to the three columns that I've got. At the moment, this has only got one column because I'm going to be using a slightly different format for this. So that's how to change the columns. So adding dummy text, as you can see, it doesn't quite fit my base and I want them to be even. There's nothing worse. One, you don't want your magazine to be full up. So if this was my magazine, you can see that if if I go Shift W, you can actually have a look at what the magazine looks like. So that's Shift W. At the moment, it looks quite nice with that white empty space. It wouldn't look so nice if I fill my text up. I can press the Shift button or my left mouse, and then I can add and fill it with more placeholder. Now, if I then go to Shift W, I can see that is now too much text. You don't want them to be full. So remember remember that uh, that you want to have space. So you could either have kind of space like that, still a line at the bottom, or it could be that you have them higher up and you've still got things. So things should be aligning. Your photos here, for example, are not aligning. So you want some sort of alignment. You want some sort of pattern happening within your designs. Okay, uh, so that's adding dummy text. So all I did was I went to the T, press my left, left mouse button and fill with placeholder. Okay, fill with placeholder. Um, so adding a photo uh, is quite easy. So you get the, the picture box and then you fill your picture. So you can either then just drag a picture that you've got on your desktop and then drag it in 
like that, and then you can make the make it the different size of your of where you want it. Now I've already got one, so I don't need that picture in. So I get rid of that picture, that picture box. I've got one here. And as you can see, it goes behind the text. Now I could kind of fit it around here, but I also have options here for it to kind of wrap around. So I could actually choose it to for the picture to wrap around. And as you can see, where I place it, the text actually starts to wrap around my picture. So I can decide if I want to align it. To select the picture, I have to press Command, and I can then decide where I want the image. Now I think, looking at this, that my text is too big. So I want to have a difference between the title, my subtitle, you should always have a subtitle for your layouts, and your dummy text. So I'm going to go to my dummy text, and I don't want my text to be bigger than 12 or 11. I prefer 11. So I could get rid of all that. I've got lots and lots of text there, which I don't want. But you can see now that uh, by getting rid of the larger one, I haven't got enough text to fill the stuff. So I want to go again, fill to placeholder. And it sticks to that 11 point. You could have 12 point or 11 point, but I think in my preview, it starts to look like a magazine of smaller text. Now I don't want, now I find this a little bit weird that my picture is now going over two columns, but over another half. So I want to stick to my column grid. So I'm going to make it go to two pages. And then I can move the image itself in within the frame for the best kind of positioning. Or I can make it smaller if I wanted to. But it's still sticking to that frame. OK, but then you can see by doing that, uh, by shifting it, I've got less text. And I always want the text to align. So again, if this is a real article and I'm not doing dummy text, then you'd have to kind of shift around this. But I'm using placeholder text, so that's much easier. OK, so I'm getting kind of uh, a magazine kind of feel to it. Also, um, if I've got a photo, so let's move that photo. Let's move the photo out of there, if I can. I have to press Command. And I want to move this picture in. As you can see, it's not running around, but also there's a white space. So it would be quite nice if the text could run around that. If I play around with this, it's not actually happening. So I might have to edit my actual frame itself. And I can do that by adding anchor points to my frame and shifting it like you would in Illustrator. So I can kind of shift my text box or my picture box so the text actually starts to fit the boundaries of my illustration. And I do that by adding an anchor point. So I can add another anchor point to there using the white arrow. And kind of shift my picture. That's quite nice to get the text to run around. Sometimes it doesn't work, so I might have to bring up uh, the window of um, text wrap and then make it align. I've got the moment both sides. I don't want both sides. I want it to either the, so the left side. So there, now the text is now running around to the left. I want to stick to that three column grid but I want to move my picture, so I press Command. And then I can kind of move that around to where I want it to. So it looks quite nice like that, or maybe I want to stick to that, get the three columns 
going on again, so I need to fill it with placeholder. So I've got that. Maybe I want to make make it bigger so it fits more. By the moment, you can see now I've got a lot of text. Let's have a look. Shift W again. That's a lot of text on that side. So maybe I want to make it so it's slightly further down. I could make my subheading maybe slightly bigger. About 16. I could make this maybe bigger. Again, have a look at it. Yep, starting to look. I need to line that down further. Oh. So it lines up. Then with this picture, what do I do with this picture? Maybe I align it to that text. What do I do with this text that I've got left over? Do I stick to that grid? So do I stick, make everything line up to this? This might be a good idea. Now it looks kind of okay, but it looks a bit empty. So maybe I'd bring another kind of block of color in there. I might mirror this kind of orange. And I can do that by filling my this with an actual color. Quite a bright color. <laughs> but um, yeah, I would change probably that color. But you can kind of play around with, with that. And again, Shift W. I wouldn't want an outline on that, so I get rid of the outline. Too bright, but yeah, you can kind of play around with those colors. I've got swatches kind of there, so you can kind of choose the color that you want your swatches uh, from. Okay, um, I think so. We've got the size of that we've got the size of this. If you want to, you might want to kind of shift the spacing of this around. So you've got ways of kind of playing around with the the spacing of your text. And you kind of got paragraph style, so you can kind of shift around um, the spacing between between the text itself and you've got alignment um, but that you can look at that more on video but play around with that play around with the spacing uh, subheadings and you got need to make sure that there's a difference I would have a different font for the heading and a different font for the subheading I think that's quite important and then you can then have a third point and you stick with that all the way through the magazine so there's some sort of consistency going on. Uh, one other thing is linking columns. So if you've got a magazine and you want to carry on this text so at the moment, you can see with this little red, red cross, you can see there's more to the actual article. Uh, there's more text happening and you want to link columns. So you want to say, I want to link that column with that column. You go, you click on the button itself, and then you click in the other text column. And that means every time you you add more, if you make that text smaller, for example, it goes onto the columns. They are now linked.
Okay, so everything you do is editable on there, you edit on there. And again, you need to make sure that the text is all the same size as the text over here, which was 11. Right, okay, I think that is around about it. Uh, linking columns, text wrapping, so the wrapping around the text. Uh, please try and make some sort of consistency. Try and make things align. Try and make things stick to your grid. If you've got this grid system going on, make things use things that stick to it. Okay, I think that's it. That's it. Thank you for listening.